We're going to talk about President Barack Obama, who appeared before the UN General Assembly for the final time in his presidency to announce that the US would be admitting 110,000 refugees in the coming year. Now, the refugees will include people fleeing dangerous places like Syria, Libya, Florida. (laughs) 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 One guy actually just went, really? Is that... This might sound like a lot of people. While 110,000 people are coming in, you've got to remember, millions will be fleeing if Trump is elected. <laughs> so, Obama announced this tweet, the de- this, uh, announced this today, the day after a tweet by the Trump campaign comparing refugees to poison Skittles. Obama was basically like, it was going to be 100,000, but after your little Skittles tweet, it's now 110,000. <laughs> What's that? You want to make it 120? Mm? (laughs) You little bitch. Um, Obama wasn't the only celebrity to appear at the UN General Assembly. Harry Potter star Emma Watson gave a speech about gender inequality on college campuses. And this makes sense. I mean, if there's one issue Emma Watson is familiar with, it's large educational institutions being run by an old white guy. Uh, But the most amazing part of this story is that in the article about Emma's efforts to promote equality for women, the Daily Mail decided to include a huge section called Female Fashion Finder devoted to discussing Emma's outfit and telling readers where they can, quote, get heels like Emma's. (laughs) Now, Emma Watson was like, we need gender equality, and the Daily Mail was like, let us show you why. Speaking of Harry Potter, did you see this? The the house that was used as Harry's childhood home in the movies has been put up for sale. Yeah, but are you that impressed by this? Really? (laughs) Would you be impressed if a guy was like, hey, want to come back to my place? It's the uh, house where Harry Potter was imprisoned as a child. (laughs) What's nice is even if you're not having sex, when you're giving the tour, you can still say, this is where the magic happens. (laughs) This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic... (laughs) Finally tonight, we turn to the election right here, and there was a report yesterday that former Republican President George Herbert Walker Bush has told friends that he will be voting for Hillary Clinton. Now, many people think this is totally ridiculous, you know, that a 92-year-old man would make plans to do anything two months from now. (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's hope so. We hope we will. Uh, It may seem weird that Bush Sr. said he's voting for Hillary, but what's even weirder is he said this back when his son Jeb was still running. (laughs) Makes sense, really.